catching any fish off the surface is exciting and carp are no exception to that rule especially during the summer months when some of the other especially river species can be out of contention because of the river temperatures you can actually turn to, to carp and they thrive in those warm uh, or the warmer months or warmer weeks when essentially you can't target a lot of other fish and those are actually the best times to catch them on the surface as well one of the best ways of enticing them to the surface is definitely with biscuits traditionally people have used dog biscuits i'm not a big fan of using dog biscuits would you feed fish biscuits to your dog and vice versa so i actually prefer to use biscuits which are specifically designed for fish and actually from a nutritional perspective are better for the fish so these are called screttings i use them in two different sizes i use them in 11 millimeters and six millimeters so these are floating expanding fish pellets or fish fish biscuits essentially but specifically designed for fish i use the two sizes just to keep the fish guessing so rather than just using all of them in that 11 millimeter size or all of them in that yeah much smaller size that six mil this keeps them guessing because essentially when you especially if you're fly fishing for them there's no kind of hard or fast rule to what size your fly is going to be that you're targeting them with so with this it keeps them guessing rather than actually looking for just this size or just this size it actually catches them off guard and because these do swell they change color color as they swell as well but uh, when they do swell again they change size uh, so you will have if you're just drip feeding these in which you should be doing anyway when you drip feeding them in you'll have just a myriad of different sizes out there which again just keep the carp guessing rather than kind of focusing on one size in, in particular so again mix mix them up but do use the fish dedicated pellets or biscuits if you can rather than the the dog mixer biscuits which most people do tend to turn to they're not much more expensive and you can buy them in 15 kilo bags they last you a long time anyway so i just tend to put them all all in a bucket mix them all up in there at the moment they're not mixed because there's a reason for that i then tend to on top of this i use a bit of fish oil so you can buy uh, all different manners of fish oil the reason for the fish oil is twofold one as an attractant but secondly the oil takes off if there's a tiny ripple on the surface it actually kills the ripple on the surface as well so there's two reasons for the for the oil so again it definitely acts as an attractant but also just flattens the surface which makes the surface fishing better essentially secret with this is to not use it or not put it on top of the biscuits too early don't put it on you know the night before or even the morning of the session do it when you get to the lake and the reason for that these biscuits are super absorbent so actually they will absorb that into them too much essentially you want this as a coating around the biscuit rather than actually absorbing fully into the biscuit just to create that slick uh, effect you will still absorb some of the smell and flavor into the biscuit but essentially then it's, it's creating a film rather than absorbing fully into it so it's all i do with this is just tip it in on top of the biscuits like so so there's again just a load of different fish oils the natural products a load of different fish oils on the market some are actually designed for, for for putting on top of dog food ironically so that's all i do tip it in there put the film put the lid firmly on the bucket and then just give it a good shake around what that will do is it will give the two different size pellets a mix up in the bucket but also it will fully coat those pellets like you can see there so there's a good coating on all of those pellets there now and they're good to go and the secret is then to just drip feed these in. When you get the fish going, just keep their interest going. So just keep that competitive aspect going with the fish. So feed them in little and often, just keep those fish coming up, looking for the food. So don't kind of fully blanket the water all at once, but when they are up, just keep them going. And uh, you often for, uh, ref, uh, hear them referred to as Pac-Man. So you can imagine them just eating every biscuit as they go along. And that's what you're really looking for, especially if you can get a few fish feeding, competing for uh, the biscuits on the surface but uh, a few different hints and tips there I hope that will uh, will hold you in good stead when you do try and target them on the surface in the in, in the future
Tight night.